country, I mean, Mr. Jamal believes that even the constitution you talk about allows for this. There is always a way, as politicians will say, your candidate has been described time and again as the unifier. And I mean, you can speak for him to a large extent based on uh, your positioning with him. Would you say, or do you think, that he has done absolutely all he can to unify your party, to bring their groups, parties together, and essentially give peace a chance, as they say? Well, he's done all he can, and he's still doing it. I mean, um, Mr. Jaggi mentioned the Constitution. Now, you see, he said something, just give, and I'm quoting him, just give the chairmanship to the South. It doesn't operate that way. You don't give the chairmanship of a party to somebody. It's a democratically elected position. So you don't give it. You have to get that position by being elected. And it's by going ad hoc that you get into problems. Now, he mentioned the doctrine of necessity. In case, I mean, I don't know if he's aware of it, but the doctrine of necessity was something where Yaradua had left the country and then he had not transmitted power to President, uh, to then acting President Jonathan. So what happened, that the doctrine of necessity itself was that they said Yaradua had given an interview to the DDC and then they took that interview as an example of a, transmit, a transmission of power. So that's the doctrine of necessity there. So even that doctrine of necessity is following the constitution. So if they're going to do anything within the PDP, it has to be done constitutionally. You cannot just take the chairmanship of a party and then give it to somebody. I mean, it, it's, it's like you are running the party according to the needs and practices of an individual. And this is what uh, Laji or Wazir Atikobak said in, on September 14. Look, he told Governor Shirima Kede that if you can get the chairmanship of the party, following the constitution, the rules, the procedures and traditions of the PDP, I will support you. But I'm not going to go extra constitutional. I'm not going to go outside, outside of the constitution, outside of the rules, outside of the procedure to do it. So that's what they're saying. We need to follow the constitution. We need to follow our rules. And we show to the rest of Nigeria that we are an orderly party. We are ready to take the reins of power from the ABC. But if we do things in an ad hoc manner, I mean, bound to the wings and capacities of men rather than the constitution. You have to understand, the constitution is our fountain of origin. So when we are in a dark place, it is the lighthouse that guides our ship to land. Doing anything extra constitutional or outside of the constitution is what is going to wreck our party. And our party is not going to be wrecked. You know, you know what they say about the constitution being like the